piece of hair. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a huge Primark haul. This is my October Primark haul and the last one of these I think I did was maybe August? Maybe just before that. So I'm not going to lie, I did some damage in Primark and spent £101. So... And you can obviously tell by spending that much, they don't give you just one, but they give you two full bags. So, yeah, I'm going to get started because this will be a long video otherwise, but please do go and remember, and remember to click the subscribe button. It's this side or this side one of the two but yeah please go and click that subscribe button because our little family is continuing to grow very slowly but we are nearly getting to 200 subscribers so I'm entirely grateful for everything I never in a million years thought I would get 200 subscribers let alone 100 so I'm really 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 proud of myself and obviously you guys as well so yeah also give this video a like if you like this video because I know I love Primark hauls and I love watching them. So yeah, if you like watching this, please hit the like button. And without further ado, we're going to get started. So I'm going to start with this bag on the floor. So I'm just going to pull things out random. This is in no particular order because we could be here all day. So the first two things I got are actually for my mum. She was with me and she picked these out. And these are actually for a Christmas present because she wanted pyjamas. And I was just like, you know what, mum? buy them now because why not so she picked this one up which is just like these like really like silky um night dresses this is quite pretty and it's got are they butterflies no it's like flowers and gray and lacy and these were seven pounds and she then got this one which is just this beautiful pink um flowery one they're actually really really soft and it's just got lace on the bottom as well again this was seven pounds and these are in a large then the last thing that is my mum's christmas present was these set of boyfriend flannel pajamas these were a large again and she just wanted these so i was like you know what mum just get them and they were eight pounds so definitely a good bargain sorry i'm really really hot Whew, i'm sweating okay next in here i've got these five pack of silver earrings i just wanted to try them out to see what they would look like um and to be fair they don't suit me at all so i'd probably give these to my friend or maybe to my aunt because my aunt likes hoop earrings but you know when you just want to try something out so I was like, you know what, for a pound, I'm just going to try it. And yeah, I tried it and they didn't look nice. So if anyone wants some hoop earrings, holler at me. Um, I've lost this one as well. I don't know where it was. It was on there when I bought it, but not anymore. Then I bought these three pack of full briefs. These are two pound for three. And these are my absolute babes. They literally are. I know they're only like knickers, but they're my absolute babes. Like, I do not even care about sexy underwear, okay? I don't care. Because if you've got comfortable underwear, your life is complete. So, I stick with black because I love black and I just feel like black underwear is appropriate especially when you're on your period because you don't want to be wearing colourful underwear and get it spoiled so I always buy my underwear from Primark because it's just so cheap and good quality then moving on I got one pair of shoes and I absolutely love these I've got another pair like this but I bought them from the market um, but I bought them in like a nude and I was kind of like I wanted to wear them the other day but I was just thinking what do they go with and then I was like, well, I knew Primark had these in, so I was like, I'm going to pick a pair up when I'm there, and it is these. I'm sorry. This is going to be a love or hate relationship with these type of shoes, but I absolutely love them. My boyfriend, on the other hand, absolutely hates them, 
but I absolutely love them. I just think it gives a plain shoe something with a black pom pom on. Um, so yeah, I just really love these. These are not my size. I'm a size five, but these are a size six. But they were the only ones left, so there was only like size sixes left. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna get it, and we're gonna make it work, girl. Because you know what? Your girl wanted these. Um, and yeah, I just think it, these spice up an outfit completely. Like you can wear an all plain outfit like I am today and just put these on and bang. Your outfit looks like you've made an effort when you haven't. So yeah, I bought these and I absolutely love them. Then kind of tying in with that theme, I saw this bag and I couldn't let it go. I literally couldn't. Are you ready for this? How freaking cute. I just love this pom pom on it. I just think it makes the black bag so much more expensive and like this only cost me seven pound this bag seven pounds um and the reason i got it is because i've got black bags but i just wanted a small black bag this is very small as you can see from let me show you the back it is very small lengthways and widthways and i just wanted something that you could throw your phone in a couple of cash um yeah, I'm just like makeup products that you wanted, but yeah, I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Very plain, it's like fake leather on the back and the strap is, I think it's long, but I don't really want to open it because I don't want to use it yet. So yeah, a beautiful bag for only £7. <laughs> I then just got a black bra because I needed one and I had that bra problem would you say it's a bra problem you know when like the underwire comes sticks out at the points oh i can't stand it i hate it so i had to get a new bra and i love primark bras because they're so comfortable they only cost two pounds and it's not a waste of your money if they break so that's why i always go to primark um and i just love them i always get the t-shirt bras i don't go for fancy underwear to be quite fair with you i just like the natural colors the whites the black and the nude that is the only colours I go for in a bra. So yeah. Just a black plain bra really. And if you want to know my size. I'm a 36D. I'm going to put it out there. I don't care. I've got a large chest. What can I say? So yeah. Got that. And then the last thing in here. In this first bag. I went a bit crazy. I know we're in the middle of October. And Christmas is nearly two and a half months away two and a half yeah i think it's two and a half i couldn't resist look at these so they're obviously christmas pajamas but i couldn't resist them and it just says naughty who me and i just loved the pug if you didn't already know i absolutely love pugs so when i saw this i was like yeah you're going straight to my basket there is no doubt about how much you are you're going straight in there so yeah I really like the glitter on it, I like like the fit of this and then I absolutely love the bottoms because they're red and they've got little pugs with all the little, it's like got a Santa hat, an elf hat, ranger antlers and then the bottom is cuffed. I loved, I loved, I love pyjamas that are cuffed at the bottom like when they're trousers. I just think they're so much more comfortable. And I always get my pyjamas in a large because I hate to be sleeping with tight clothes on. I hate it. So yeah, as I said, they were £12. So a bit more on the pricier side, but I think for the quality of these, they feel really, really warm. And I just think that they'll be perfect too for Christmas morning because, you know, who loves? And no lie, I'm going to be wearing these right now. After this video, these are going on. I don't care if we're two and a half months away from Christmas. I do not care. I love pugs and this pug needs to be on me. So, yeah, we're just going <laughs> to fling this back here. Okay, bag number one is done. Moving on to bag number two. So, I absolutely love this. So, I got a new dressing gown because I thought, you know what, I'm going to treat myself. We're coming up to Christmas and everyone snuggles in a dressing gown. Yeah simple my mum on the other hand decides to wear my white white 
dressing gown to dye her hair brown. Can we just take a moment? Yeah? She got brown hair dye all over my white, white dressing gown. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy a new one because I'm not going to be walking around with hair dye on my dressing gown. And I tied a knot in the thing that you tie around your waist. And I can't get it out. So I was like, you know what, Mum? You can have that one. And I got this bad boy here. So it is in a cream. They say cream, but I would say nude. This dressing gown. It is a large dressing gown. And I got it in the size 14 to 16. But I love that it comes with a hood. I've never had a dressing gown that comes with a hood. And I just think they are so much more snuggly when they've got a hood. So that's why I picked this up. And it was £10. And I think for £10, this is definitely a bargain. So if you're looking for a nice dressing gown for Christmas, definitely go and get yourself one from Primark but these could also be very good um, present ideas so I probably will actually go back and get some for my family for Christmas so yeah I got that I then got this jumper now I'm not entirely sure on this I have to actually try it on and see what it looks like but and it is this is this grey yes grey again I got it in large because I get all my clothes in large this grey, are you ready for this? This grey, like, I wouldn't say that's high necked. I'd kind of say scoop. No. It is high necked, isn't it? But it's not like roll necked. Grey jumper, but look at these sleeves. Are you seeing this? They're like, I don't know, would you say flannel? Maybe flannel, but they look kind of like a mermaid's tail. And I just thought, it's a plain jumper, but then bam, you get the sleeves, which kind of like makes it look much more sophisticated so I definitely have to try this on and see what it looks like because I'm not sure if the style will suit me but it was £10 if I didn't already say so so yeah I just thought with black jeans or even blue jeans and Vans or Converse this outfit would look the boom so I got that and then the last item of clothing that I've got is something a bit out there for me but I thought with my hair colour it would go really 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 nice and um, before I move on to that I just want to say that this jumper does actually come in other colours I think it came in like a pink and a blue and a purple so if you're a fan of this jumper definitely go and head down to your local Primark because I'm pretty sure it'll be in there but yeah moving on this is more of what I would call a sophisticated kind of blouse um, it's definitely out of my comfort zone completely, but I think for days when you want to go out um, clubbing or just like on a date night, this would be a very nice top for you to do that because it's smart, but it's also casual. And it's this top here, and I would definitely say this is more of a blousy material. So it's kind of like a v-neck, but not a low v-neck. And then you get to the arms, and it's kind of like that jumper again. So they're kind of like really flowy and I just thought this paired with black jeans and black heels on a night out or a date night, it would look absolutely amazing. Now I got this in a size 14, again because I like them to be quite loose and this was my hair colour, it would look thebomb.com. So that is why I got that, obviously I'm not sure if it's going to look nice on me but that is what trying it on is for. So yeah, I got that. And now we're moving on to like the last couple of things. I've just found the other earring, so I haven't lost it. Um, and this is all like makeup and beauty. I hardly ever buy beauty in Primark, but their beauty range is really, 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 that's how much good it is, amazing. I've never shopped in the Primark beauty range before, and if it is, it's, obviously, it's just for like mascaras or something. But I literally got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven products from the beauty section. And I just am to die for because I was going to go to Superdrug and buy all of this, which would have cost me a lot more when I could have just gone to Primark. So I'm going to show you. So the first, I guess, the first four things are beauty related. And then the other, like, three items in there are, like, skin kind of stuff so first thing i got was this long wear finishing powder it was in the sale reduced from five pound to two pounds and i don't know why but it's basically 
translucent powder and I've actually been using baby lo not baby lotion baby powder as translucent powder so when I saw this in Primark I was like yes please it comes with one of these things and it's just them ones that you um kind of like squirt out and then the powder comes onto it I don't know if it's going to work no I probably have to take it out but yeah I just thought I'm going to pick it up it was only two pounds so I got that I then picked up this highlighter because I need a new highlighter and I thought this was the boom.com this is the PS pure glow highlighter in mink pink it was three pounds and I mean this is blimmin amazing guys like let me see if I can open it that is not nice don't open things with your teeth kids Ugh. okay I'm gonna swatch this for you because I just think the color is a miracle so it looks like this Ooh, I'm gonna come up close so you can see looks like that right are you ready for this I'm sorry holler at your girl right now I'm not sure if you can tell but doesn't that look bloody amazing <gasps> oh and the one that I have now is from soup jug I think and it's not that good so definitely gonna be trying that out tomorrow and you will see it in my weekly vlog so yeah definitely good for four three pounds and then the last two products I brought was a mascara and a liquid lipstick. So this mascara is called the Iconic Intense Black Lengthening Full Volume Mascara. And I'm sorry, look at the wand on this thing. Are you for real? I think this is amazing. And again, the one that I've been using is from Collection. And I'm not going to lie, it lasted me a good couple of months. But you know when you've finished it and you get to the end and then you just put it on your eyelashes and it makes them all clumpy? I hate that and that has been happening for the past week and a half so I was like no I really need to get a new mascara and I've tried a mascara in Primark before it wasn't this exact one but it was absolutely amazing like it made my eyelashes look fake so I was like yes I'm gonna buy this one so I got that and then the last thing that I got oh and this was two pounds I believe this mascara and the last thing that I got from the beauty section was this my perfect my perf I can't speak <clears throat> my perfect nude nourishing lip gloss in the shade pardon me caramel kiss and it is like this nude color now I've not actually tried this on my skin but I swatched it for you so it's this one here just under the highlight and I think these two colors really correspond well together so definitely gonna be putting them together on an eye out I tell you that now um but yeah, I just wanted to try it out to be honest. I've never bought a lipstick from the Primark Beauty range. So I was like, yes please. And this was £2. And then I got some Mentos. Um, and they were just a pound from Primark. Because you know when you're in Primark and you're walking around and you want something to chew on. Mentos is my babe. So I got them. I then got... Oh, hello. I didn't realise there were three packs in here. The Gentle Facial Cleansing Wipes for Sensitive Skin. I don't usually go for the pink ones. I usually go for the blue ones, but they wasn't there. So, I picked these ones up. They were a pound for three. Usually it's a pound for two. But no, Primark was up their game and giving you three for one pound. So, yeah. And you get 15 wipes in each. So, you get about... I'm not going to do the maths, you can work that out because I'm really bad at maths. So yeah, some of them because I haven't had Primark wipes in ages and you know when you've got that little piece of mascara right there, isn't that annoying? You need one of these bad boys to get it off. And the other day it happened to me and I had to use tissue and it scraped my entire makeup off of my face and I was not happy so I had to take the whole thing off and reapply it, which was a bummer. So yes, definitely Primark is again my bay when it comes to makeup wipes I then got again a concealer from Primark 
this is the my perfect color liquid concealer mine is in porcelain because i am like casper the friendly ghost i'm so pale um and i again i just thought you know what i'm gonna try it from primark because if these products all of these like mascaras and translucent powders and highlights and concealers actually work i'm definitely going to be going to primark more often to buy my makeup because What's the hassle when spending about £30 in a drugstore shop when you can go to Primark and spend only about a tenner on products that you would find in there anyway, but for a cheaper price and probably a lot less quality, but it'd still be good, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I just got this, and I mean, I can swatch it for you. It's just, this is really pale, but for my skin, it's your girl. So yeah, it's just this one here. Very pale. But it's concealer, so that is what it's meant to be. And then the last two things that I got in Primark, which must be new because I've never seen them before, are these two face masks. Now, I'm not entirely sure if they're going to be any good. Um, they were £3 each, but they are from the range, by the looks of it, PS Face Spa. And I got the clay face mask. <coughs> which is meant to deep cleanse your skin and then I got the Calendula, Calendula petal, face, petal Face Mask and this is meant to moisturise and hydrate your skin and I just, I wanted to try them out so obviously the, the oh, it's all tipped in there and the, and the, and the, what are these little jars, in these little jars so obviously this one is just grey um, and it doesn't really smell of anything but I got you this one is absolutely amazing this one smells so good and this one is kind of like a petroleum I don't know well you can tell it or see it but it looks kind of like a petroleum jelly kind of look like it wiggles and it's got little bits in it and yeah they've got a, a load of range I think they did have one that had honey and ginger in it maybe but if they are good, I'm definitely going to go back and get some more. But I just thought I'd pick them two up to try for now. And then the last thing that I brought, this was actually brought in Superdrug, um, was this Collection Instant Brow Pomade. Um, and I just needed eyebrow gel or whatever this thing is. I think it's gel. I don't know. Um, usually I don't go for the collection, I usually go for the freedom one, but I couldn't find it, so I went for the collection one. And I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit disappointed of how much it was for what it is. Like, this is absolutely tiny, and it cost me 5 99 so, whereas my freedom one was massive and it cost me 3 99 so I just think, why? But... I needed it at the time and this was the only one so I got this one but that is everything in this haul so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video bye